There's no one single definition of leadership. There's no one algorithmic method by which you could uh, define a leader. And there's no one simple task of what leaders do or, or a single uh, list of talents. So no one size fits all. It all depends on, on the situation and the timing, as we'll talk about. I think rather what this tells us that leadership is a process uh, rather than a specific definition that we could plug in. And I think this leads to a couple immediate conclusions that we'll examine uh, along the way in the paper. First of all, that good or bad, leadership creates a geography of life for everyone. Leaders impart identity, purpose, and direction, and they offer us security, satisfaction, and stability. Good or bad, leaders give us a way to react to life. We know the rules. We understand what's going on. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about Adolf Hitler uh, later on. Because he's such an obvious uh, leader, even a leader, a bad leader such as that, gives specificity to reality, and you understand uh, what's happening. So we seek leaders. Uh, the famous senator in America once said, and a choice between anarchy or bad leaders will always take bad leaders, because anarchy is too difficult to deal with. Secondly, even if there is no one specific list of skills and attributes of leaders, um, there is no one specific list of uh, skills or attributes, uh, and that the skills and attributes that specific leaders have depend on the circumstance, depend on the leadership process they have. So we could see in history a particular leader at a particular time is best suited for what they do at that time. Alec Walesa came to be because he rebelled in a small Polish backwater city when the, and when he had read Ram Navarm and a number of other um, and other other documents and wanted to talk about the rights of workers. In some sense, leaders are necessarily born or made. They're also born and made, I think. But secondly, that leaders come out of the circumstances that are necessary at the time. I think. We would not know of an Abraham Lincoln, except that Lincoln wound up being the standard banner, uh, banner against slavery in America. Third, I think we learn that leadership is a process, as I said, uh, and that um, this process is dependent upon all these other factors, which I'm going to try to delineate now. The fourth is my real thesis, that in the end, leadership is about making everyone a leader of their own job. Think about it. Successful and failed leaders earned their, their reputations by how well they did on the job. Did their abilities match the uh, demands and challenge of their time? Did, were they able to command uh, the uh, moment? Would we venerate in America, and we venerate Lincoln the way you venerate Mandela in, uh, in America, if he had lost the war and slavery had not been ended? Would we still love him if he had lived through the assassination and had another four years but failed in reconstruction? I think we measure leadership by what they got done uh, as well. And I will tell you, as a card-carrying Democrat, as someone who uh, vaguely knows Mr. Obama, he always wants me to say that I know Mr. Obama. I don't. I, I met him at a couple of functions, and I wrote a couple of speeches when he was a senator, but I'll give the secret away. Should I give him the secret? OK, this is the secret. You can't tell anybody, all right? You've all seen pictures of Mr. Obama playing basketball, right? Right. And he's wearing long sweatpants. Now you know why? Because he's got no butt and bird legs. Uh, <laughs> so he doesn't want that on camera, et cetera. I don't care. Um, that's my favorite line. I'll stop now. Thank you very much. Um, I think we measure them by what they do. And I think that that's really important. And you have to also ask the question in this country, would Mandela be venerated the way he is venerated if he had failed in his negotiation with the Clark? Now, even though I think there is um, no one perfect definition or model of leadership, at its core, leadership is, I think, based on two elemental factors, character and stewardship. And by character, to begin with, I mean what a person believes in, what a person holds dear, what they value, what motivates them, how they view the responsibilities to others, what's important to them. And perhaps Eleanor Roosevelt, the wife of Franklin Delano Roosevelt, said it best. You want to know a person's values? Check their checkbook. That'll tell you something about who they are, about how they spend their money. And I think that character becomes elemental. And for me, leadership and character are summed up in the famous Socratic statement that the goal of life is not to escape death, suffering, or inconvenience. The goal of life is to escape doing wrong and to live well with others. 